Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we are going to create our very first Speckle web application using only Python. So let me briefly introduce you to what we are going to create in this video. First, we are asking for a couple inputs from the user. They're going to input the server URL as well as the Speckle token. So Speckle token is, I think, uniquely associated with that account. So once the user inputs these two values, all the streams associated with that account will be listed in this drop-down menu. Then the user will select a stream from this menu. So latest comment made to that stream will be showed in this iframe. We are going to create this iframe using Python as well. Then a couple statistics about the stream, such as the number of branches, number of commits, connectors, and contributors with their details. We're going to continue with the creation of these figures. The first one shows the number of commits made per branch and per connector as well as per contributor. And we'll finish with this timeline slash line chart kind of thing that shows number of commits made per day. As I said at the beginning, we are going to create it from scratch. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's continue with the requirements. Obviously, you should be familiar with Python. I'm not expecting you to be like an expert because I am not an expert, but you should be quite comfortable using it. Then you should be, you know, quite familiar with Speckle because we are going to deal with streams, branches, and comets. And obviously, you should have a Speckle account. If you don't have one already, get one uh, at speckle.xyz. And uh, the Python library that we're going to use to create our web application is called Streamlet. I'm going to show you how to install it as well in the next step. Then to interact with the Speckle server, you should have the Python SDK of Speckle called SpecklePy. I'm going to show you how to install that as well. And we're going to use Pandas library and we're going to convert a couple Speckle objects into Pandas data frames because it makes it a lot easier to create uh, charts and graphs from it. And to create those figures, we are going to use Plotly, in specific Plotly Express. I'm going to show you how to install that as well. All right, let's continue with installing that libraries. We're going to install Streamlet, SpecklePy, Pandas, and Plotly. And they are all going to be installed via pip. As far as I know, if you have Python installed on your device, you should be just fine. Open common prop and simply type in pip install and the name of your library. Let's start with streamlet. I'm going to type in streamlet. Just like that. Let's continue with specklePy. Type in pip install and specklePy. Again, I have it. Pip install this time pandas pandas and finally we're going to install plotly dash express okay so once you're done you're good to go let's continue in visual studio code 